and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for watching. I am Lindsay Rail. And if you already haven't, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Yes, I'll give you a second. All right, you hit it. Awesome. <laughs> hit the thumbs up too. You can start now or do it later because I have a cool story to tell you guys. Got to spend the day with Gabby. If you guys don't know, Gabby has a YouTube with her sister Nikki. Gabby has her own titled uh, Fancy Vlogs by Gabby. And she's also doing Blood Queens, which is her own spinoff and the season three of Scream Queens on her own YouTube channel. She already has season one up, and season two is in the making, and it premieres this fall, and I cannot wait because it is going to be so amazing. The camera crew, the cast involved, like the directing, the writing, it literally was an amazing project to be a part of. So, here we go. I'm gonna tell you all about it. <laughs> it all happened, I didn't vlog it. I didn't I don't have much behind the scenes footage because when I was on set and I was spending that 24 hours with Gabby and her sister and her friends and the cast and the crew, I wanted to live in the moment. I didn't want to come off unprofessional in any way. I didn't want to seem like an over fan girl because yes, I am a huge fan of hers and I do look up to her and I think she's wonderful and beautiful, but I didn't want to pressure her any more than the pressure she's already got going on. I wanted to get to know her. I wanted her to get to know me. I wanted us to be friends and wanted to make friends with everyone else and just, you know, be my normal self. I was 100% myself and I made a lot of good friends and I had such a blast and it was such a memory that I'm never going to forget and I hope that there are many more. I hope to hang out with everyone again and hopefully make more shows and vlogs and movies with them because they were such a talented crew, guys. You have no idea. I do have clips of me on my crazy journey to get to it and taking a plane, train, and automobile to get there. Plans, plans, and automobile. This is my bed, <laughs> pillow. My alarm clock's in the plugged in, but. Are you my phone. Because you don't like the my suitcase. Like I said, there's no one here anyways. So I got two hours till I board, so I'm a snooze. I did the 
pulled a non-nighter after a busy day at work. I booked a plane, I went to New York, I took an hour train ride from New York to Philadelphia, and I took an hour ride from Philadelphia to this suburb, cute little town in Pennsylvania, and I am ready to go to my first shoot, to the first audition I've ever booked. So here's the hotel that I literally booked last minute. There's the bathroom that I've already destroyed within five minutes. <laughs> How cute. I know it's not focused. And this is my view. A little bit of snow and I'm gonna go to Wawa. See you guys a bit. So long story short, I auditioned for a part and a week went by, didn't hear from them until the night before and I get an email from the producer saying I booked the part. <sighs> Yay! I was like, oh my gosh, because it's been a while since I was in anything, like in anything. And I was just telling God and the universe how I'm ready for my next step. I'm ready for a project. Let me get involved with something again. Like I just needed it. And then here was this wonderful opportunity. So it was just a blessing overall for me. And I just have such love for Blood Queens and for Gabby and I and I believe in her so much that I made sure I got to set on time. I didn't complain about it. I just didn't care. I went. So I found out close to midnight the night before and I went home, changed, packed my bags from Atlanta, Georgia and I booked the next flight. And at the time there were no flights in time for Philadelphia. So you know what I had to do? I just went crazy mode and I flew to Newark, New York, and I flew in, two hour flight. This is like five o'clock in the morning at this point. Mind you, I like basically, I couldn't say I slept in the airport because I couldn't sleep. I had too much adrenaline. New York, I had to take a one hour train ride to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And then from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, I took a 45 minute lift ride to my destination and I finally arrived. I went to a last minute booking of a hotel and was like, let me in, I have to change and check in because I have to get it to set in like 45 minutes. So I finally arrived to set and it's like 2 p.m. or so and I walk in and I'm super nervous. I, at this point, am pulled an all-nighter and I haven't slept in 24 hours at this point. And I walk in and there's Colin and Gabby and then I see Nash walking and I'm just like, oh my God, like here are these people that I've always like seen on vlogs and kind of gotten to know them via YouTube videos. And it was crazy. It was like, oh my gosh, they're like right here. <laughs> and I signed in and went to the, the, basically the dressing room, waiting room. I'm doing my job and I'm gonna be myself. And that's what I did, friends. <laughs> I have nothing but wonderful words for Gabby and her friends and her sister like they're beautiful people inside and out like they're fun they're funny gorgeous talented everyone was so professional everyone listened to the director we all took notes we all took action we did none of us complained it was just amazing the entire day and I didn't want it to end and I mean by mind you I feel like I was like 48 hours of no sleep I mean at the very end I kept catching myself staring off in space <laughs> like I would just stare at people like and I was like, oh my god, I need to control my face, but I was so tired. <laughs> Working on set, if you know, is just so tiring. But it was so worth it, oh my goodness. Um, I don't want to give anything away, but Blood Queens 2 is going to be so good. It's going to be so funny, it's going to have suspense, it's going to have a lot of glamour. And as you guys know, she also got a lot of the wardrobe from Emma Roberts herself, and like I said, um, everyone that I met and worked with was just incredible team and her vision came to life and it was such an honor to see it firsthand come to life so when we see it in fall it's gonna be like 
I was there. I was there to see this, this baby come to life. And I didn't vlog, obviously I told you why. I wanted to remain professional because I am an actress and I wanted to focus on the character that I was in the scenes and live in the moment. Um, Alex, if you're watching girl, you are my twin that I connected on so many levels. Like we have the same desires, same goals, same dreams. We have a lot of similarities. And, <laughs> and one of our things is that our horoscope is compatible so uh, that works out if you're horoscope compatible everything's compatible that was my 24 hours spent working side by side with Gabby and I'm so excited all right guys tune in every day um, and I'll see you next time I was with my hand movements <laughs> right. bye